Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make a little gift box today. And we're going to be using some of the acetate that I get from Cricut. This is a whole pack of it. Let's see, it's 12 sheets of 12 by 12. It's got all different kinds in here. Let's see if we can get a view of everything that's in here. Right here on this side, it's got the little gold circles, silver circles. It's got that one. It, oh, sorry about the glare. It's got gold stars. And then it's also got silver stars, which is this one. That's the one I'll be using today. I will put a link in the description below of this video that will take you over to these bundles. And if you've got Cricut Access, you can get another 10% off. But I'm also going to give you a code that you can use to get free shipping and another 15% off. So you can get this pack really, really inexpensive. But it's got some great, great acetate in there. I like that one right there. Going to be using that on a project soon, hopefully. Okay, so you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 7 inch by 6 inch. And on the 6 inch side, we're going to score at 1 inch and at 5 inch. Okay, make sure I scored that one straight. Yep. And then we're going to turn it to the 7 inch side. And we're going to score at 1, at 3, 4, and 6. So that is 1, 3, 4, and 6. And I know you can't see it on this paper, so I apologize for that. But we're going to... This is just more of that Graphic 45 Winter Wonderland. 8x8 eight eight pack that I have. I'm going to be doing some layouts with this, but I just love this paper, and I'm just going to use a little bit more of it, and then I'll be doing my layouts or my mini album, whatever, with it. Now, on the 7 inch side, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, you've got 4 score lines that you need to cut up on, and just cut up to that score line that's going across right there. So you're going to cut, and these little tabs you're going to cut up, and then you're going to wedge out. So just wedge out a little bit, just like that. And then there's one. And there makes another little tab, and we're going to wedge out on both sides of that one. Don't wedge that one out. Leave that one the same, the big one. Just wedge out your little tabs. And then this one right here. Okay, we're going to flip it around and do the same thing on this side as we did over here. Okay, once you have those cut, then just lay this aside for a minute. You're going to take another piece, and I'm going to use just a solid red cardstock for the to kind of match up with this. This piece is cut at five and three quarters by two inch, and on the five and three quarter side, you're going to score this at. And let me find my measurements. You're going to score at two. At two and seven eighths, and at three and three quarters. So that's two, two and seven eighths, and three and three quarters. Let's go ahead and fold and burnish this. So you're going to have a little thing that looks just like that. It's kind of like an M. We're going to put some adhesive right in here, and we're going to glue those two pieces together. Okay. Now it's going to be just like that. That's going to be our divider. So what I'm going to do now is on... 
whichever one I want to be my front and it really doesn't matter because my paper is basically the same but on one of these pieces right here the one that has the big tabs on the end you see that I'm going to use a little die cut and I'm going to cut out two windows so you can see right there let me get my big shot so I'm going to put this in this way because it'll still fit through my big shot and this is the little die that I'm going to use it's just one of those little decorative um, square looking dies and I'm going to get my placement right here's the score line and I know this is hard for you to see but when I get it taped down I'll let you see it there's a score line and there's a score line so I'm just going to center this up between those two score lines and I'm just going to have to feel of them to see because this is hard for me to see too there's one and there's one and I'm going to put it about right there I'm not going to worry about it if it's a tiny bit off and then we're going to run this through so there is that one cut out for us and then we're going to go straight down from that one and we're going to put another one leaving just a little bit of room from the edge on both of them and you'll be able to see this a whole lot better when I get get them cut out that looks about right but let's do that there so we're going to put that back in there and run it back through cut another one out So there are our two holes and I will show you exactly where they are there's one of our folds right there and there's the other one so see I just kind of centered them up between that and put two of them there if you don't have this die or if you don't have a die that would you could use on here you can just cut it out with an exacto knife uh, just or your trimmer just mark you off a spot, find something that's square, mark off two spots, and then cut it out with your trimmer or your X-Acto knife. You do not have to have a die to do this. Okay, now we're going to take our acetate piece, and this piece is cut at 1 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And we're going to put it right there on the inside. And I'm just going to run, I've got some 8 inch um, score tape here. And I'm just going to run that around there to hold that. Then you want to run a little piece down the middle. And then just go ahead and put your acetate down and it really doesn't matter which side they're both both sides are the, just about the same so just make sure that you get it you get that little window covered so there is our acetate in there isn't that cute so now we can put this box together so what we want to do is these are going to fold up just like that like we always make boxes so we want to put some glue and I'm going to use my art glitter glue on these tabs so we're going to fold that up and meet that corner with that edge just like we always do do the same on the other end
Then on this bottom, you want to do the same thing. On these tabs, you want to put your glue. You can use score tape, your tape runner, whatever. But you just want to put glue on these. And this one's going to fold over just like that. Just making that little box. Both of these fold in. Now, just because I don't like these little things like flaring out at the back when I close my lid, see how they kind of flare out a little bit? I'm just going to take my scissors, and all I'm going to do is cut a little angle in this. Nothing. It's not going to be, you don't have to be precise. It's going to be on different ends. Just cutting a little angle in it. Just like that. That makes it a little bit better when you close it that those ends don't flare out so much. It's a little bit a little bit more closed. It looks a little bit neater. Now we're going to open this back up and on the inside we're going to put our little divider in there. So all you need to do is put some glue on the bottom. I did trim mine just a tiny bit on either end. If yours doesn't fit exactly right, then just trim it off a little bit. Sometimes when you put the boxes together, I don't know, my boxes anyway, they don't always come out exactly the same every time. So sometimes I have to do a little bit of trimming and that's fine. So there's our little divider on the inside. And we close it up. Of course we'll wipe that off and you can see, there we go, you can see the inside with our little stars on the on there and now I have just a scrap piece of green foil and then a scrap piece of white Nina that I'm going to stamp on. I'm going to use this stamp that just says we wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm going to use some of my Versamark ink and my little embossing buddy. Because we're going to try our best to emboss this. So we're going to put that right there. Let's see if we got a good impression. Yes. And then I have some silver embossing powder. We're going to use our heat tool and make sure that you wait until your heat tool gets hot before you put it to your the project that you want to emboss. So there it is. It says we wish you a Merry Christmas. I think that's cute. And now we're just going to cut this out in a square and then cut us a piece of this out to go behind And it. this foil did, did not come from Cricut, but Cricut does have a foil, I do believe. I, if I find it, I will link it below. And then all we're going to do is we're going to put this right there, and I'm going to pop it up with some of my foam tape. Just 
going to put a couple of layers behind it. And then we will put it right there in the center. Straighten it up a little bit. Now, you could put just about anything you wanted to in there, but I just put one of the little mini candy bars in one side, and then some Skittles, or Starburst, I think, is what is in the other side. Or you could leave that divider out and put a little gift card in here. These would be great for your mailman, the UPS driver, FedEx, um, people that you don't give a big gift to, but you just want to give a little something to. These would be great for that. And they're easy to make, and they're very, very cute. Okay, guys, that is it for today. That is our project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, hit that subscribe button. And beside it, you'll find a little bell. Hit that bell, and it will let you know each time that we upload a new video. We will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.